What's going on, my main kings and scream queens? I'm still Matthew, and today I'm going to have to plow through a lot of reviews. See, I'm about to get my internet shut off. So, uh, a lot of the reviews for possibly a good month and a half to two months plus even are going to be reviews that I'm recording today. And they're just scheduled to upload. So... Please bear with me. Alright. So, the first movie up is one of the only, one of only three true Disney movies that I like. Treasure Planet. It, I, I watched this movie so much when I was a kid. Uh, I, I feel like it's, for those of you who don't know, it's a it's essentially a retelling of Treasure Island, but it's in space in the future, kind of. Everything looks kind of colonial, but in space. Uh, I hear they had um, a seventy thirty rule that seventy percent of everything in the movie needed to look colonial you know, seafaring ships, and 30% of it looks sci-fi. So, you've got, you know, the, the story is, the story is fine. You know, you've got the, the kid with no dad, and he's got, you know, he's, 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 he's a good kid, but he's in trouble with the law a lot. He, he's looking to help out his mother and then the whole thing just comes crumbling crumbling down because pirates you know the main kid is played by well I, I say kid he's like maybe 17 to 20 uh, he's played by Joseph Gordon Levitt uh, his mom is Laurie Metcalf and then you have uh, David Hyde Pierce as the scientist guy, and they they get that they find this treasure map to a secret treasure planet where, like, the greatest pirate ever hid his all, all of his treasure, and it's like this this mythical world that a lot of people don't even believe exists. And, you know, but he, he'd been looking for it his whole life. So he, he finds this map, which is what the pirates are after. So then they get tangled up in the pirates. You know, they don't, they don't know that they're the pirates at first. And then, you know, hijinks ensue. Uh, it's, it uses... A mix between traditional hand-drawn animation, CG animation that, for an early 2000s movie, looks still really good. And it also uses deep canvas, which is itself like a mix between the two, 2D and 3D. Or 3D, CG, and hand-drawn. So, the movie looks great. You know, and again, going with the 70-30 rule, 70% 70 of the score of the music sounds, you know, it's it's very um, orchestral, but 30% of it is like new, like, pop music or rock. I don't really know what you'd describe it as. It's, it's not bad. Um... You know I, know, I know a lot of people have a problem with the character of Ben because the movie is like this. It, it, it stands as its own, like, kind of deep story. And then you just have, like, this comic relief character for the kids come in, like, for the last third of the movie. And maybe it's because I liked the character when I was a kid, so maybe I can't separate that. But I don't really have a problem with him. I think he's fine. Um, you know, it, it took, took me, 
it took me a lot longer than I'd care to admit that I found out that one of the main characters um, wasn't named Cyborg. Like he's he's a, he's a cyborg pirate. He's got a got the metal arm, the leg, and, and everything. There, there he is. Um, they like a couple of times, like only two, like two or three times in the movie, they call him the cyborg. I I went so many years thinking his name was Cyborg, but it's John Silver. You know, Long John Silver. The fast food seafood chain that always gives me the flu. Not sponsored, thank God. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, I'm just not a big fan of Disney. There's Treasure Planet, Lilo and Stitch, and The Emperor's New Groove, and that's it, you know, but. Uh, this one, I, I don't, I don't see a lot of people talking about it. You, you know, um, there's this great video about how Treasure Planet was Disney's greatest mistake, and that's because they, they killed this movie in the theaters. You know, this, like, the people who saw this movie always talk about how good it is, but that was the problem, is that no one saw this movie. You know, I I can't really think of a situation in which I've sang this movie's praises too much. It's it's great. You absolutely need to see it. I give it a arbitrary score out of 10. Just watch the movie. Alright, that's pretty much all you need to know. So, uh, I guess that's it for me. Uh, put a comment of something that I should review. Movie, TV show, game, toy, whatever. Uh, you'll find a link to my Amazon wish list down below. Uh, some stuff that I want to review. Some gifts I want to give some people. The holidays are coming up. It is currently December 11th, 2018. Uh... So, anything, everything on the Amazon wish list is something that I can use to either review or help my reviews. So you can find that link below. If you're feeling, if you're feeling charitable, you can, you know, as Jake Tucker once said on Family Guy, buy me something. Uh, but yeah. Like this video, subscribe, please. I need. I'm. I'm looking to get some sponsors. I need. I need a thousand subscribers to get sponsored by Big Bad Toy Store. I need ten thousand subscribers to get sponsored by Lego. So I've got. I've got some work to do. But so please share this video, subscribe. Uh. That's it. I gotta get to the rest of this stack. So, bye guys.